you've worked with George Clooney before. Mm -hmm. uh, tell us a little bit about what makes that relationship work. I'd seen his first movie, or was actually, he'd made two movies, I think, before I worked with him. And his approach is really an actor's approach, I think, to directing. And it's one of the things that I think until you've experienced it, it is very different from someone who is a writer-director primarily, or always a director. He really looks at the actors and what's going on with the actors. They're his closest collaborators. And this picture I, that I just did with him was very different because he didn't act in it at all. He wasn't in it. He really just directed it. And he and Grant, as law office partner, rewrote a Coen Brothers script, which uh, I'm sure Roger would have shot, actually, had it actually gone about, it was like 15 years ago, I think, was when they wrote it. <laughs> Uh, Suburbicon, and Grant and George added a whole level to the script that wasn't there originally. It's about a small community on the East Coast. These were houses that were built right after World War II for very little money that were it was sort of middle-class housing, and there were housing developments, the first ones in the United States, and this one particular one had a black family move in. It actually really happened, and there was a race riot, and a number of other things took place that we don't really associate or think about with the North in the United States. So they wanted to include that in this Coen Brothers murder script. So they made a kind of a, a little bit of a mashup with it. Out for a ride. Surprise for you when you get home. What did you do? You're gonna pay us that money. What did you do? You're gonna pay us that money. What did you do? You're gonna pay us that money! He actually hired the same storyboard artist who does all the Coen Brothers movies. So he storyboarded the whole film, and it actually helped a lot. It's the first time I've worked with him where that happened, where we actually went through it, and it made it... I, I know we all have different ideas about how to work with storyboards, but uh, it actually made a big difference on it. And he actually does focus on the visuals in a very specific way. He had a very clear idea about what he wanted the movie to look like, which wasn't my experience with him before quite so much. So that was kind of different. <laughs> Happiest accident while shooting. Paul Thomas Anderson, I've worked with a lot, loves accidents, loves things to go wrong. He loves, you know, if the set fell over, he'd be thrilled. You know, he wants <laughs> things to just, he wants something to go wrong. And uh, on There Will Be Blood, we were burning an oil well, Derek, out of wood, and it was supposed to burn a little bit and put it out and do it. And it caught on fire and couldn't be put out. So we had to shoot the entire sequence kind of really fast in sort of a crazy <laughs> way. And it ended up working out really well because of the chaos of that moment, even though. We were all safe, but it meant that we had to run all over the place and in preconceived ways. And I think it actually made the scene work in a much more interesting way. And that's sort of what Paul's all about, too. So it's such a beautiful scene. We made a beautiful yeah, scene. I just had a great time. It was like 80 degrees. <laughs> <laughs> we had these wonderful sets that were air conditioned. It was the opposite of a struggle. We had all this yes. money. But we never had a, I mean, nothing ever, no, I'm, I'm being serious, actually. They were very simple. Both movies were done in LA. I got to go home at night. I didn't have to live in some other country. That's a um, good so, yeah, moral I was very lucky. story. Shoot more in Los Angeles. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Sure. Even though they were both shot in Los Angeles, they were very different looks. You downtown Los Angeles, and then you had this. Well, you know, the, uh, the, the suburb. The, the sort of film digital discussion is one I sort of don't enjoy having very much, but I think that's really one of the reasons. The, the uh, Denzel movie, he wanted to shoot on film, so did the director. And uh, George wanted to shoot digitally, and, and they do have a distinct look, and they're, or at least I can't figure out how to change them. I mean, I end up with something out of the box on film that I don't seem to be able to find. And I actually hope to talk to somebody here to explain how to do it, because my digital work seems to be a little bit homogenized and a little clinical looking. And that tends to be what I sort of f fight against. Don't use well, any field light. I think that's the key for being shooting digital. You know, you have to do it pretty dark. You know? I have to, and I have to learn filters again. I just, uh, yeah. I don't seem to be When able to we shot it. Crimson Peak, we have a filter behind the lens. You know, we have a diffusion really? filter, yeah. Right. And we did the same in Shape of Water. We have a black promise inside the camera. Well, you're still shooting film, too. Yes. Yeah, but but why, why don't you just continue, try to continue shooting on that where you feel comfortable with? It's <laughs> never up to me. It's never, you know that. I mean, it's like, when do you have that discussion? Nobody wins that debate. Um, it depends on the movie. Mm. But I was thinking, the original Blade Runner had such an effect on me when I saw it in film school so long ago. And the trailer 
the scale of it. I think somehow you figured out how to do this. Um, something you seem to be able to... I'd use an iPhone, I wouldn't... <laughs> I'd, I'd, yeah. I'd, I'd fed up with this conversation. <laughs> Ready? Okay, quiet on set. And okay. I lock down the lens. Yeah. Let's do it. Hi, I'm Margot Robbie. Brian Cranch. Robert Pattinson. John Boyega. I'm Sam Rockwell. Willem Dafoe. Emma Stone. Alison Janney. Guillermo del Toro. Thank you for watching. Thank you. Thank you for watching. Thanks for watching The Hollywood Reporter. The Hollywood Reporter. The Hollywood Reporter. On YouTube. On YouTube.